these objects are connected up to the main rods through these little tiny bearings. These things pop off, sometimes easier than others. This pops off the main rod, it's all connected. These are magnets on the ends. The main rod pops off, there's a big magnet down here, and that's the main driving magnet. And this this object is also connected up through bearings onto the uh, onto the main rod. The box contains the mechanism that runs it: it's the circuit board with the transistors, resistors, diodes, battery powered, and of course my copper coil. This is. Uh, 24 gauge wrapped around a piece of PVC piping. So that, that's the main driving force. This becomes an electromagnet that each time the magnet gets close, a signal is sent to the circuit board, which tells the battery to turn on, which magnetizes this, which gives it a little pull, and then it turns off about when it gets to the center of this copper coil. And basically, it just keeps giving it a little kick each time you through through the uh, it passes over the car. So here's my little test area. We've got uh, this little test platform that I built, and here's another another circuit that I soldered up. So um, so here's where I soldered everything together and did the testing. Here's a little power supply. So let's give it a shot. 4.5 volts. The magnet on the end of this plastic piece, and it's directly over the coil, just give it a little kick, and you see that it starts, you can hear the chirp of the LED, and it will slowly pick up speed and keep getting higher and higher.